we we had. And um, and if we come out and we hand pick every tree we we cut, and I supervise that logger and make mm -hmm. sure that he's making a minimum impact because with that big equipment. See, when we started out logging, when I went with Lee in 40, this, this July be 44 years, um, they were skidding with little tractors. They'd cut the log up in the woods and they'd skid two logs to the ramp at a time. Now they, they skid eight, ten trees to the thing. That's a lot of impact on your ground. And even ground that has wire grass, you can stay on that logger and make him do a, a, a good job. They want to come out and cut timber like this because it's valuable. And so they'll they'll work with you. And um, and we've had good luck with, with thinning on it because everything you've seen around this wave track, I've gone through two times, sometimes three times, and we still got a full stand of timber. And a full stand, I mean, we've got mature trees, uh, medium age class trees down to, to trees in, in the wiregrass uh, stage. And that's what we want. We want that diversity. And we also want the looks, the aesthetics. That's, that's a big thing with me. I want, I want the forest to look pretty when I walk through it, when I ride through it, and when I carry people through it. The aesthetics is, is real big with me. And so it's, it's kind of like this. It's the greatest office in the world. <laughs> so that's it. That's what we do. We 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 just uh, single tree selection, and it started with Stoddard, and, and it went with Lynn, and now it's with me. That's some pretty good teachers.